Hi guys, welcome back to the wood turning section of my YouTube channel. Um, in the last video, we do we we I, I'll start again. We in the last video we were looking or taking a look at some of the acrylics products made by Chestnut Products that are on the market. Uh, they're an excellent product and they've come on leaps and bounds. The drying time especially has come down a heck of a lot. It used to take hours and hours for the products to dry, whereas now you're looking at, on average, about an hour between coats. Sometimes it's shorter, sometimes it's a little bit longer. I don't use them a great deal, but uh, when I do come to reach for them, they work very well. I did mention a walking stick. Um, this stuff with the black top is ebonizing lacquer and basically you, you can spray this onto a, a wood and it will turn it jet black like ebony hence the name um, a couple of coats of that will do the trick I would then recommend two or three coats of acrylic lacquer over the top to give it a little bit more strength uh, and it, it it really works a treat. I've got a, a walking stick here to show you. I did promise you in the last video. And that's the effect that you can get with it. The walking stick's a two-part stick. It's joined in the middle with a brass coupler. It's got a nice brass ball head on. And really does look the business. All I need is a top hat and a pair of brogues or something and a, uh, a tuxedo. <laughs> but anyway, that, that's the kind of effect that it, uh, it gives. It turns any wood, makes any wood look like, you know, to the average person, ebony. To us wood turners, basically, you'd have a a bit of a close inspection and, and you'd know straight away that it, was, it wasn't ebony. Uh, like I said in the other video, to get a piece of ebony this size, would you know, jet black ebony, would cost an absolute fortune. And that's where this stuff comes in. You know, it makes a decent job at it. But, as I said, apply a couple of coats of the ebonising lacquer and then go over it with the acrylic lacquer two or three coats and it'll give it that bit more uh, strength because you don't want it chipping off it if there was a chip let's say there it would give the game away you would know that it, it wasn't ebony so by putting the acrylic lacquer over the top gives it that bit more strength right guys i'll keep it short and we'll move on to the next one